a beautiful jellyfish it's Tracy thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video we're gonna be talking about Eldridge Moon spoilers today and basically I've been doing these videos where I go through each of the colors and I talk about some cards that I think are gonna be good for like pre-release events and or draft events so um yeah and these are like of course just from a first glance you know no one has except for like wizards has played with the set before so this is just these are just cards that I think are gonna be pretty cool so, um, yeah, let's get started. So Liliana is the first card that I want to talk about. And, um, to be honest, I really wanted a Liliana of the Veil vale reprint, but that would be Magical Christmas Land, and I don't think that's going to happen. Um, probably next, like, Modern Masters or something. Um, but that's, like, too far away. <laughs> I was like, I want it now. So... Liliana is interesting like I I don't personally like think that she's like amazing I'm honestly kind of disappointed by her but I think that in pre-release event or a limited event I think for the whole like zombie tribal I think it's really well like I think that the zombie tribal deck I think is going to be pretty good and I think Liliana makes it really awesome um I honestly wish that she like made tokens herself like that's a typical thing that a lot of planeswalkers do i think that it would be nice if she did that i mean her neg too i guess kind of sort of does that i think that her plus one's pretty good i mean you you stop something from getting power and toughness so that if they're gonna swing liliana they may not do as much damage um yeah so she's she's pretty good i think she's gonna be good in like draft slot. like if you like pack one pick one Liliana and you're like cool I'm going on this zombie tribal I think she's gonna be super good um yeah so I just like I don't know am I like the only person disappointed by Liliana I feel like a lot of people are really excited for her and I'm just like she's good but I don't know I think it was because I was expecting of the Veil reprint because she wasn't in um the last uh Modern Masters I don't know okay then we have um, New Scraft Mob. Okay, so ETB is, and you get five 1-1 one, one counters on it. And then whenever a player, not just you, whenever just a player gets a spell, you casually just get to put a 2-2 two, two zombie. So basically you're paying six mana to get um, 10 power and toughness. Uh, yeah, seems really good to me. I think this card is absolutely nuts. Sarah does with Liliana. Oh man, that's nuts. And on its own as a zombie, so this card overall is like super, super sweet. You know, one of those cards that's gonna be like a 10 cent card, but in draft, um, in draft pre release, I think this card's gonna be a nut house. Um, even if you don't have the Liliana synergy, she's, it's, the card is super good on its own. Um, okay, then we have um, Voldaren Pariah. So the art for this card is just beautiful, by the way. I'm a huge fan of this. Um, so, you know, it's five mana for a 3-3 three, three with flying, and, but it has madness, which is, which is really good. So there's a lot of discard outlets, a lot of discard outlets. I feel like in Shadows, I don't think there was as much. I feel like this one, there's a lot more. I don't know. It's just, I, I didn't count, but I feel like it's good. Um, and I think that's like super awesome. Um... The, the madness cost on this card, I think, is what really makes it super awesome, because if you had to pay five, I mean, paying five mana for it isn't the end of the world, but I think, you know, on its own, I think that's super good. And you could just sack three creatures. So what's really awesome about this is that it's instant speed, you can do it whenever you want. So if your opponent goes to kill something, you can just sack it in response, and you can sack a couple of other creatures to transform it. And this is really, really good with the Lyrium synergy, like really, really awesome with that synergy. So I'm a huge, huge fan of that. And then when it um, transforms, you get a casually 6-5 flyer, and then when it transforms, your opponent just has to sack three creatures. This card's nuts. This card is absolutely nuts. I think just probably one of the best cards in the set. I think it's it's really, really nuts. The fact that if you have madness, <clears throat> if you have madness off of it, you're paying three mana to basically do these things. And then you sack three creatures, and this this has a lot of like graveyard recursion in the set, so if you like bring back things from your graveyard or whatever, card overall is just really, really nuts. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, okay. 
Then we have, oh, whoa, what did I do? Go back. I clicked on a button, I don't know what it did. Then we have Graph Harvest. Now, I'm not a huge fan of enchantments. I'm, I'm usually like, um, I usually like never pull, like I never take them, whatever. But I think this card is particularly really nuts. It's one, a one man enchantment, casually zombie creatures you control the menace. I think that zombie tribal is going to be one of the best decks looking forward in draft. I think that if you have all the right cards for it and if you're in that and it's kind of one of those things where you know you take those cards and that is your thing and not a lot of other people will like take those cards from you because they synergize so well together um i think it's just really good um and then you know what i really like about it too is it has that second ability so i said this before but i've always had an issue in draft where a lot of times my curve like stops at like six mana which is like a very typical thing unless you're playing in a set that has like giant things that's sort of, that are like 10 mana or whatever um but so, like those are cards are very like there's not a lot of them so like get the chance of you drafting them is very little so i like when cards offer like have multiple things where if you top deck it late in the game it's still a good card you top deck this late in the game it's still good because it's a one mana enchantment but then you can exile things from your graveyard that you know you're not going to get back or cards you can instant speed just make a 2-2 zombie yeah it's a lot of mana for what it does but if you have nothing else to do with your mana it's like really good and you don't just tap it or anything it's instant speed you can do it whenever i really like it um okay so no what are you doing ah, okay then we have um, Markov Crusader. This card is overall just really nuts. Um, talking about vampire synergy. Um, so first off, it's a five mana four three life linker. The card's just really good already. Um, and then on top of that, it just casually has haste if you control another vampire. Not super hard to do, especially in your shadows packs because I feel like I feel like they had more vampires in the set. I don't know. Maybe I'm not too sure, but yeah, card card is 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 really good. Um, I'm a huge fan of big things with like lifelink. Super good at a five mana uh, slot. Okay, so cards creatures who are one mana have to be really nuts to impress me. Um, usually one mana one ones are not the best thing. However, I am impressed by vampire cutthroat. Okay, it's a one mana. You could have stopped at one mana one one skulk. You could have stopped at a one mana one one lifelink, but instead they're both stapled onto this creature. Um, card overall is really really nuts. Um, and the fact that it's a vampire it synergizes really well with the card we were just talking about, of Markov um, Crusader. So, uh, yeah, card really good, really nuts. I like it a lot. Reminds me of um, Rancid Rats. Okay. Now we talk about the card murder. Talking about the card, not the practice. Don't do that, that's bad. Um, this card, I was really excited to see it reprinted. Um, it's just a very standard kill spell and you need those. And it's just one of the best kill spells. It's nothing fancy, you don't have to follow guidelines. You don't have to follow like if the creature has power 3.5 or greater and toughness um, 11.6, like, can I tell you how those cards drive me absolutely crazy? They drive me absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, overall, I was really stoked to see this card reprinted. I think it's it's just really good. It's a less it's a less better version of um, Heroes Downfall, but I think that would be asking for a lot. The card was just reprinted too. The card the card was just printed. Okay, then we have Succumb to Temptation. First off, I'm a huge fan of the name of this card. I think it's really nice. Um, second off. This card is really good. Um, it's instant speed, you draw two cards and you lose two life. Nothing fancy, you don't really want your deck to be loaded up with them because, you know, when you think about how a deck functions, you want like 16 to 17 creatures and like 5 to 6 um, like instants and sorceries and enchantments and artifacts and things like that. Um, but I, I do think this card is good because it, you know, you don't want your deck to be full, like, you don't want those slots to be filled with just this card, um, but I do think that it's a good card to have, like, one or two of, probably, eh, maybe just one, and it's, a uh, it's an, in, uh, it's an instant, it's an instant, which is really good, but it's a common, so I think it's going to be easy to get your hands on. Overall card is really good, and I think it's going to be used in EDH, I think it's a, it's a really good, um, good card. 
Okay, so remember we were talking about how enchantments usually don't impress me? Yeah, okay. And an enchantment auras in particular really don't impress me. This one does, and that is strange augmentation. So casually it's a 1-1 one, one that gets plus 1 plus 1. That's pretty good. But if you have delirium, it gets an additional plus 2 plus 2. So not only does it get an additional plus 1 plus 1, it gets an additional, so you're paying 1 mana to give something plus 3 plus 3. What? What? And delirium in this set, and, and you know, again, like I said, I think that it's so much easier to get delirium off in this set, I think, from what I've seen. So, like I said, you know, this, like, enchantments, you gotta be really nuts to impress me. I think this card is really nuts, if you're on that delirium strategy. Um, I think this card is really good, I'm really excited for it. Okay, um, then we have Olivia's Dragoon. So, um... Card is a two, two mana two two. You get to discard a card. And instant speed. I'm really liking the whole like you don't have to tap things to discard a card. You don't have to do. You just get to discard a card. It makes madness really awesome. Um. So you casually get to discard a card, and then this gets flying until end of turn. Card overall is nuts. It does so many things that you want it to because it discards a card. You get things in your graveyard, or if synergizes super well with madness. Um. Or you know what. And it gets flying. Evasion. Super nuts. I like it. Um, okay, then we have um, Midnight Scavengers. So what I like about the, the, this whole like meld thing is that this is at um, common. So you the chance of you getting it is getting the two cards is higher than like getting like Bruna and um, Gisela. No, not Bruna and Gisela. Is it Bruna and Gisela? Am I making that up? Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. Um, so first off, you know, when it ET when this thing ETBs, you just get to return a target creature from your graveyard to your hand, which I really like. I think that's really good. And then if you get to meld it with um, Graph Rats, which doesn't do anything, which, I mean, I'm a little disappointed that doesn't do anything. Um, and if you get both of them, you just get to meld them together. And, you know, it's at the beginning of combat. So on combat, if you have the two of them, you get a hasty dude, which has got menace, sweet, and then when it ETBs, other things you control get pulse on pulse on game menace. This card is nuts. I think the reason why like it's maybe people aren't as impressed of it is because you do have to have both of those cards. But like I said, I think the card is going to be really nuts on its own. Um, I think that having the Midnight Scavengers on its own, I think, is really good. But I think just having the two of them together just makes it nuts. I think that the Meld card in this is sweet. Like, I just think it's absolutely sweet. Like, I think it's one of those cards that, once it hits, you probably win that turn. Because your things not only get a buff, but they get Menace. So if your opponent, say, you've got, like, six creatures, and they have, like, three creatures, they can only block with two of them. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's super good. Oh, card is really nuts. Um, yeah, so overall, I think that there's going to be, I, I've said this before, but when I, when I draft, I'm, I'm a, like, white and black are, is usually, like, my go-to color combination, um, and I, I think that in black, I think that the avenues are, like, vampire synergy, um, and then you have zombie tribal synergy, um, and then, like, Madness, Sacrifice, something, um, yeah. I, I think that Black is good. I think that these were the cards that I thought were, like, really good staples. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think, what you're excited for, and then, um, especially in Shadows of Ranch, let me know what you guys are excited for in Eldritch Moon, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!